Hi, today is April 7, 2024, and here are my poems for the day. The first one is poem number 540 for the year, Communion. I'm not entirely joking when I say that when I'm in a mall or mall-like space, I like when there are trees inside, so I can kind of commune with nature while shopping or eating or just hanging out with friends. I'm assuming that the trees that I saw yesterday are real, and that I was communing with nature rather than unnature. Perhaps I was communing with unnature, but whether it was nature or unnature, I was communing. Poem number 541, Not That Stupid. Lantern Light Light. Poem number 541, Not That Stupid. Lantern like lights hover over trees like suspended gargantuan droplets of rain. If the trees are real and stupid, they could think the lights are raindrops and wonder why the lights won't slake their thirst. But as far as I know, real trees aren't that stupid. Poem number 542, I Want to Believe. I want to believe that the trees are real because Fake Plastic Trees is the name of a Radiohead song that I don't want to rip off. Instead, I will rip off the X-Files poster. I will rip that motherfucker right off of the fucking wall. That's how much I want to believe. Poem number 543, I hope they're not stupid. If the trees are real, I hope they're not stupid. I never thought that trees were stupid, but maybe if you're a tree stuck in a mall-like space with other trees and one of the other trees briefly and mistakenly believes that, light, that the lights suspended above are actually raindrops, you might be seduced if that other tree was attractive to you in some way and you might become convinced. Or if one of the trees were to maliciously spread a rumor that the lights are raindrops, maybe you... Maybe you would become confused and uncertain, and maybe you would believe the malicious tree. But I want to believe the trees are real, and that they are not stupid or malicious. Poem number 544, I No Longer Know. My understanding is that trees communicate with each other via their roots, but each of the trees in this place is potted in its own private pot. So maybe the trees here cannot communicate with each other, or maybe they can communicate via their branches or leaves, or maybe they can communicate via telepathy, or maybe they are distressed because they can't communicate, or maybe they are fake and therefore can't be distressed. Now I no longer know what I want to believe. Poem number 545, More Than Enough. Sometimes I want to believe in a supernatural god, a god that could actually break the laws of physics, which would be my definition of an actual miracle. But most of the time, what I want is to always remember that the universe is infinitely mysterious, that the laws of physics will never be fully understood, that coincidences and things that seem like miracles happen all the time, and that there is so much that I don't know. The not knowing and the astonishing coincidences and the things that seem like miracles and the mysteries of physics and of the universe are more than enough to keep me in ecstasy, are more than enough to keep me believing, are more than enough to give me strength as long as I remain teachable, as long as I remain humble, as long as I ask for help. And the last poem of the day, as promised to Roger Armbrust, poem number 546, Interior Design. She knows that her exteriors are fine. What she wants now is interior design, and when she gets to where she wants to be, she'll look even better than she does now. You'll see. That's it. I didn't think I could make a whole sonnet out of that. But, you know, I don't know. Maybe I could have. Anyway, I appreciate you. Roger, I appreciate you. And I appreciate y'all, too. <laughs>